dumb hero. That that is what I said. Please don't put words in my mouth. As uh, Sumeo is struggling here. He has decent CS, but the Haras is definitely aggressive as uh, FPZ. Gets on top of Duracho, but the slow from upheaval, quite annoying. Yamich. Yamich, though, has a fair amount of damage. Can they get the kill? It's FPZ, even. He gets it, so even better, as he claims first blood in a pretty tough lane. for. And I would say it's like the opposite style to Timado. Timado gets really farmed, but he also like sometimes dies for it. I feel like Crystalis mm -hmm. doesn't use a lot of farm and is very good at just making the best of a bad situation. Speaking so of carries about... here, Deracho will be collapsed upon. Puppy with a good rotation, they find another kill in the side lane as Yamich going, start going for some boobs, but I don't think they have the reach here. Maybe, though, they do. Plasma field Puppy with a double kill and they lead the plan for them. I think they need to wait for Aces level 6 and then make a play with the Bruce split. Salary here will be found. They do have one ward to the right side here. Is this, uh, all right, it's Quinn. They would love to find a kill, but he will find a puppy. That's not the highest priority target, but that's a kill as he will dodge that magic missile. Coil will be broken. Can they find puppy? I think they will. Haste room, way too much of a hassle here. Nice orb forward, Goku getting the full embrace, buying some time, the upheaval though, stacking up, and now they finally get that magnetized, Sumeo might be able to get Tofu as the brew split, finds FBZ, finds Crystalis, and GG, out of nowhere, out of their ass even, gets four kills, I don't even know how that happened, but it's just mostly Queen rotating and Tofu being set up for so long, never showing himself. They even circled the area, but uh, Diracho is now on the right side, but I think he gets pinged. I, yeah, we do see Crystal is farming this huge stack, but the action is going to happen on the other side. The roll does connect King very quick. They get the Echo Stomp, they get the second uh, layers of damage, and this will be Sumail getting a pretty important kill. Sure, the always recover. Is this hero, like, incredibly broken? I think his team is doing well enough for him to have the space. Yeah, speaking of his team, they will find Crystalis, the hope of Secret, as they get a really good curse. FBZ slowly but surely getting a kill. Nice swap. Will buy time for Yamich to get out. Crystalis, though, will be found by Ace, and he's supposed to be the counter of that Brewmaster, but he is forced out. He is just... Totally forced out of this fight. FBZ will be lifted up. Do they have enough damage? He can go through that barrier and somehow a lot of cooldowns being used from GG, but they, this time they don't find the kill. Celery, that, uh, yeah, the Warlock kind of isolated Quinn. The Cold Embrace will not save him. So in a way, Tofu killing his mid laner there as he's trying to find a way out of this fight. Will TP out. They get the vision with Crystalis. He didn't have a stun, but the Echo Stomp is available and they should be able to find the Wyvern. So that is two kills, and Secret not losing anything. Well, that's pretty decent, right? Yeah, especially with the split and the Golem oh, and the Oh, they get Vision. They find Mr. Ace trying to disengage, and that's a third one. Definitely worth it now. So from the perspective of Crystalis here, he even disassembled his Echo Saber for a BKB. Do you think that uh, Secret will try to fight fairly early as, wait a second here, it's actually gaming that takes the initiative. Oh, kick off the mark. Sumeo didn't really find Celery as he did force Coil, will break it, but the phase shift damage blocks that reflection as he will get the roll. This time, it's King that finds Celery, so uh, killing spree for FBZ. And what started as a, an interesting initiation here from GG doesn't really work out. Can they get as Quinn is going away. Uh, smoke though from Secret, as they show FPZ in the bottom side, they potentially want to find someone. I think the closest one is Celery, and the row will be on point with the magic missile. Do they have the lockdown? Now Curse being chased, being uh, looked here from Tofu as we watch Quinn just for a second, as now Celery falls. Yeah, we didn't really want to watch Celery die, so production being very benevolent here with the life of Celery, but it doesn't matter. They're going to lose both supports as Yamish did die for secret in between these fights. Yeah, quick. Maybe they can use that Aegis. Uh, they are showing the Sven top as they try to navigate around the area, find some stranglers, and it's going to be Celery. He once again dies. <laughs> 
but did get his Midas off, so no passive Midas on chat, please. He is cleared of that. Yeah, it, it actually makes total sense. Yeah, you're right. So, we did see split being used. Is this enough of an opening here for Secret to maybe try to force the tower, try to do something as well? He will be called down, now miss out and just burst it down by Quinn. Okay. Crystal is, you gotta be careful, breaks the coil, that's a level 3 coil, fair enough of a duration with the Arctic Burn slowing him down, this is a lot of peel from GG, can he blink away, it feels like he cannot, Quinn moves forward, but the side of ice from FDC, nice, a uh, phase shift right there, Quinn will be fine, but the right clicks off this man, it doesn't matter, he doesn't get the distance, still, ages for 50 seconds, GG should be careful, with how they move forward and they will disengage. Oh, okay, wait a second here, FBZ. He wants more side of ice, but not before the four step. Actually, just splitting this fight apart. And finally, Diracho with his BKB. He shows up, he gets MVP. They will take that Aegis out. And oh no, God Strength on Crystalis. He has to be very careful. Good stun will stop the upkeep from Celery. But if he's still alive, we'll be able to walk it off. And Crystalis, he is definitely trying way too hard here will be taken away, Sumail finds a double, but they're gonna lose the other two cores in secret, potentially Puppy as well. I think Puppy is not Boy. making it out here. A few flat yeah, cannon shots. he gets vassaled. Good swap with that ward, gives it away, but yeah, he's, he's dead. Uh, Sumail still looking better than I expected in terms of kills. I just wonder... Like, his network is falling off quite a lot as he will find Quinn. And that silence, as you said, not something he itemized for. And he's gonna pay the price to Mayo looking for even more. Network, you don't need network. He's a king. He has castles. Crystalis will have that hammer. Uh, reflect like match in him, but it doesn't matter. Unless this golden brace buys enough time. The side of ice, though, make sure that they're gonna get the kill and the roll away. Can they still fight here? GG, this is a 5 versus 3 as Crystal is finally forced to BKB, but he's running away from the pandas. He's supposed to be the counter. FBZ gets bonked in the head. They're gonna lift up the damage. And the Crystal is farming some crypts as he tries to handle the pandas, but they're way too tanky right now. Can they survive? They're gonna lift up Crystal is. FBZ solo. I don't think he's gonna make out of it. His BKB wears off as that stone lands onto him. Link. He's very fast though. Holy crap. Somehow survives. Can he TP out the Cinder Brew? The clap is not gonna be enough. So he lives and they get three kills. So I'm gonna try and smoke, expecting the secret smoke. And they're right. They are 100% on point. Yeah, this is so good for GG. Because they. They didn't know they were scammed, but they just go for the counter smoke. Oh, the roll actually finds the Brewmaster instantly here. Sumail with the BKB won't stop the split from being used. But if they can disengage, there's a chance the Secret can take a different fight. But look at Crystalis. I hear God Strength. He's looking for Duracho. Who's the god here? Well, Warlock, he will summon a Golem. And it's Crystalis that has to run away. He's so low. He tried to fight the strongest carry. The strongest hero on the side of GG. And he did not have what it takes. Quinn, nice dodge right there. That's a double kill in Secret. They bled way too many kills. Just a short reset. That's the only blade mail they have, I think, right? The, does ZT have a blade mail, maybe? I don't think so. He has his Agno. Oh, no. We're gonna find Tofu. That's an interesting fight. The refresher on FBZ here. If they can find this kill... Okay, first life gets taken out. There's still cheese available for Duracho on the back lines. But he did die, and now Duracho, he wants to fight. Did secret overextend. It feels like the FBZ will be killed. Crystal as he tries to stand his ground, but that code embrace. Just make sure the Rasho won't fall, the king gets Winter's Curse. And finally, it feels like Secret are crumbling here. 20k gold lead for GG. And buyback. Oh no, yeah, he did get the refresher. That's probably the reason the buyback is not available. As the Sequin here, being stunned. Uh, they will buy back two of their cores, not the Razor. Make it three with the puppy buyback. They Keep on trying to fight as Ace will pop that split and just forcing back the spin. He's supposed to munch down the pandas, but he is the prey and GG gets called. It was a 
37 minute game, so definitely not a quick one, but overall GG seemed to be ahead for most of it. Too much action for the bounty runs. Last time GG got three of them. This time I would expect them to only get two. Ace. Okay, they get a really good disruption with that flame break boinking Ace away. But this is still a pretty decent uh, hard kill. They, they're they going to get the anchor smash, Ace a lot of right dead. clicks, and eventually it's secret. Crystalis gets first blood. This is not too shabby. He's actually tied in that worth to Quinn. A little bit better than I expected this lane, to be honest. Especially well, as I jinx Sumeo, the tornado should actually separate them. Yeah, the Tornado EMP when Queen goes for the Static Link is nice. Bottom lane, FBZ being blocked by the Nature's Grasp, the Disruption, with some Lotus usage here, maybe buying time for FBZ, that damage of the Phoenix, the slow ticking damage is enough to get the kill, but they find uh, Tofu in return, Giracho, he has one charge of that Shadow Demon. Uh, spell, but not enough mana on Puppy to really continue as eventually. Oh, nice boink again. Puppy with the fairy fire. Can they actually disengage More. slowly but surely? Celery gets that last hit, and this is a two for one. Here, you lose the skill point on the Terror Blade, but you steal the Wisdom Rune. Yeah, I think that's totally fine. I feel like Sunder is an undervalued skill early. Okay, it's also what happens here with Tofu, undervalued by GG, gets killed by Secret. Interesting. Oh, actually, no! Versus Thunder. He just gets the oh. Meteor Hammer instead. I guess All All right, so Ace will be found here, but a lot of Secret Heroes, but with that Living Armor, can you even kill this guy? He's gonna dispel a lot of your spells, the Ravage finally gets used, nice the tornado, tornado stops the Meteor Hammer, very nicely done by Sumeo, and they will claim that kill, so Secret finally a convincing kill on a pretty big boy, as the Rachu seems to be stealing stacks, yeah, there, there was at least one set of stacks. All of SD spells, the Roar, the Lasso, the Sunder. Definitely good as the Rachu, pretty... Cheeky rotation here from the back lines, finds Puppy, and with that meme hammer as well as the right clicks of the Racho, they should be able to take this tower. Uh, I think they really want to get the T1 bottom to open up the jungle. Oh, wait a second here, Crystalis, instead of getting that tower, he wants to get Ace. Ravage is available and he will commit it. Not enough time to get a disruption on Ace as, oh right, the Shadow Demon poison damage is enough, Puppy claims it a very nice kill there even the ravage being used that ochre as well as the agonims and maybe refresher is very important and he doesn't need to fight right now so midas is definitely the right call a mitch will be found here quickly toasted as even the egg gets used so maybe protecting himself against that roar that fbz could throw so decent commitment here from gg and they find the support so not that big of a deal with your secret and yeah, it's probably for the better that he didn't commit it there. Maybe they can go for a play themselves as there's a smoke going on. Both uh, the Terrorblade and Puppy trying to initiate it will get a good tornado onto Quinn with that uh, slow coming from the Shadow Demon. Nice flame break actually does find Quinn, but the Sunray, the Sunray is allowing him to live. All right, ulti from Duracho, looking for Puppy. Very nice blink, the debut of the blink dagger, as well as a two-man stun. Look at Sumeo, he's so low, the roar will buy time. Can they get a Sunder here? No, the king will fall. Crystalis, he will not save his buddy there, as he doesn't want to be 1 HP in this fight. FBZ is soon to follow another stun from Duracho. He quickly joined this fight, and even though FBZ might survive, never mind. The slow from Quinn is enough in secret. It was it was a decent attempt. There was no egg, there was no razor OT. It's just no chance. You need BKBs and like all of your heroes to stand a chance. And even then, I'm not sure if you wanna fight into this GG lineup. Dude, I hope they nerfed that Tide Hunter shard. And they gotta nerf Diracho as well, because he's looking like a beast puppy. Will pop. His Gold Scepter, but Ravage will find that kill as FBZ will try and use that Ravage, but the Tornado kind of uh, 
chaining the stuns a little bit as they do find the spin. Can they get more? A lot of cooldowns being used on both sides. The egg crystal is slowly but surely, but he's rooted. He cannot survive with the Sunder. He buys time, but the stun is there, and Quinn with the right clicks will get another one. Killing spree for Ace. Yamich will soon follow an FBZ. He has no way but a TP out, and somehow he survives alongside Sumail. So not the end of the world, but it's just always GG slightly ahead. If fight is so, so lost for Secret. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? He didn't instantly overgrow. He gave Secret, he, he, they, they debated Secret into thinking they can win that fight. And that's how Crystalis did die as two heroes of Gaming Gladiator is pretty much diving their tier twos here as Sumail finally shows up with the Alacrity. They're gonna find one salary. Can they get anything else? Ace trying to disengage. They should maybe get the reflection from this distance, but they have no slows. Finally, the roar gets used, but Quinn trying from the sidelines to make this a bit awkward. The Hawk slowly but surely hits the watermelon, and Ace, even that Sunray is not enough to keep him alive. So Crystalis actually Okay, new Scepter, holding him in place, and they do not find anything else. At least... Lineup isn't super fast at taking it, but uh, Sven having to pop gold strength. Ooh, Ravage. Oh, I did hear a Ravage here, and Sumail will pop his wand, gets the Tornado by some time, but with the damage from Tofu and the Egg, he gets that kill, dominating streak. Sure, they commit a couple of cooldowns, but this will be a tier 2 tower here for GG. It feels like no one's gonna find it just yet. Deadless on the ratio now. Mm -hmm. And look at that, they will find Puppy, he's leashed, he's stunned, and as you said, the Ghost Scepter means very little if you're stunned. Okay, looking for he's more with here. his Ace, fresh Shivas. With Shivas. Gets the dragon, he should probably abandon the dragon. Ace, very aggressive blink. Looking for SBZ, he will be able to run away, trying to juke Ace, and it should be okay. No follow-up here from GG, just some scary tactics. And Ace is actually going for an Octarine as opposed to a depression. Oh, there you go! They find Diracho with the Sunstrike, that's a beautiful kill! And Celery is gonna move next, this is Scotty, so they cannot chase, they cannot run away from Crystalis if they can get more secret this is the first time in a while that they got such a convincing fight they have a bottom no, okay the lanes really don't help them <laughs> so as hype as i want to be for that kill there's really no way where they can do anything mm -hmm. but still it's a good amount of money the racho just running uphill without any vision there always this cool nice gold snap all right yep they find another one that is tofu falling for FBZ and they go to Vantage, cut by half pretty much. Not a bad use of the ages indeed. Yeah, the heroes enjoy. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Those stats allowing him to have decent right click damage, but it's now GG. There was just smoke, very good Shiva's guard finding Yamich, so that's a small fry so far. The, uh, they will connect the meme hammer and they're gonna drop the egg. So they just wanna make sure Secret cannot Mana cannot fight, and they will push Secret away. A fair amount of cooldowns here. I guess the biggest one is just the egg. GG, just camping the high ground here. All right. Not only in this game, but in this series. If Secret can take this game, we would be going to a game number three. GG, just looking very impressive as that anchor is there, and the poor bat rider. Look at that. Just uh, yeah, flapping his little wings. And that shard needs to be nerfed. All right, Ice Frog, if you're watching this, maybe that's the plan here for Ace. He's just picking Tide Hunter to prove a point, and he is proving it. Just, just use the anchor and playing around their own ward here. Maybe expecting Secret to initiate. That would be ideal. A Secret wanting to fight on this side of the map, and Ace once again the same story. He uses the Shivas. He uses the anchor. He uses the Beam Hammer. Nice dodge right here, as the anchor is still up for so long. It doesn't matter, they're gonna lift up Ace and slowly Crystal is trying to wear him down. Quinn with his first BKB, they're fine to mail. He's trying 
to get out. Ravage gets used. They find FPC. Crystal is with his BKB, dodging some of that damage. Can he man up? Meteor Hammer is going to be used. Finds Sumeo and he will fall. Double kill for Duratius. Crystal is looking for a Sunder. He cannot get it. Secret. Their hopes and dreams on the line. And they will lose everyone but FPC. This is really looking tough here if you're a Secret fan. As Ace will slowly start posturing here. Is there any, like in terms of high ground defense, out of 10, how much would you rate Secret's line? Wait, wait a second, here is Duracho. Wait, what? He's he... in uh, deep. Okay, they dispelled the war cry. That's how he died so fast. Ravage gets used, but FPZ has his own BKB ending. Will lock down this van in place. And with that Ravage, with the Sunstrike, he could be enough, but no. He is walking it off that living armor, just allowing him to live in his... Oh my god, gaming gladiators, you guys are ruthless, you guys are so good. And Quinn moving forward, the tornado holding Sumeo in place, triple kill for Duracho, and what seemed like an almost flawless initiation from Secret just gets turned around at the last second. Resilience they showed, pretty decent draft, gaming gladiators just uh, on another level for sure. Yeah, and their supports also seem to be in the right place every single time. And this should be yeah, the finishing touch. They're gonna dive touch. here, they're gonna kill the Batrider, but you know, no buybacks in secret. Let's be honest, this is... Well, Quinn even diving the fountain here. Maybe trying to make another happy little mistake, but no. He quickly disengages and uh, the throne... I guess there's no God Strength, so it's, it's slow. Secret, they're trying to hold here. All right, so 30 seconds for Yamich. Everyone else is alive. Duracho oh finally gets his OT, and he solo kills Crystalis. Oh, Lord. FPC soon follows, and finally, Secret, they're done. Wait. Ah, he brought the, bought the Revenant's Brooch. That's why he two-shot the TB. That's a nice play at the end there.